guys, alright, I'm just responding to a video that um, Zoll's brought up again with uh, a, issuing a challenge uh, for uh, benchmarking, which I accepted. So he's got a few more benchmarking, which he's, he's really just got two. He's just got Geekbench and Sciencebench, which is one more extra than he had before, so that's not too bad. Um, that's his current Geekbench score, obviously, but um, that's my current one up here. But I've chosen three um, three benchmarking software. I've actually chose um, three I know of: uh, Geekbench, Xbench, and Sign uh, and Signbench. Chose Xbench because it does um, proper OpenGL testing and Quas testing um, on a Mac, so it's actually worthwhile doing. Um, so what have we got here? So he's eleven thousand eight hundred one. Uh, I'm 15th out. I knew I was actually going to beat him anyway, so I didn't really um, care about whatever score he had. But um, yeah, we're doing a variety of um, benchmarks here. But um, really, we should do realistic tests. Um, benchmarking doesn't really. 14,800, 12,000. Alright, moving on. Wow. Um... Point. And most of these, you got some multi-threaded, some single-threaded, some multi-threaded. Your graphics, you're not testing your... Th really, this is all just a processor test. That's all you're testing. You're not testing your graphics, you're not testing your 3D. You got a few memory tests mixed in here, which... Toy, you are calling anyone that scored lower than my system, you're calling... Alright, uh, before I get to that, um, also show a few other scores here. You already know what my sign bench score is in macOS, um, and we all know because of this. This, um, please watch his video, um, and you'll know what I'm talking about. He's explained um, that if you if you go into um, if we go into profiler. Okay, got a lot of apps there, so just give me a sec. Alright, here we go. Alright, sign bench, here we go. As this, this pointed out, it's universal. It's not Intel based. So it's pretty much a mixture of PowerPC and Intel support, which means it's not truly a uh, Intel. Uh, based application for the Mac. Um, so unless it is, then we won't expect to see the true results in Signbench on a Mac. But um, nonetheless, uh, all right. The other test I did was for uh, Xbench, which is a pretty good app as well. Uh, so yeah, overall results. It does everything from Quas, OpenGL. CPU test, thread test, memory test, disk test. You can even select what volume you actually want to do it off, if in case you have a solid state hard drive or whatever like that. Um, so, yeah, these are all the scores that happen here. Uh, so, just to give you a rough idea, um, the Mac Pro average that's been submitted is a score of 162 is the average score so mine is obviously 284 uh, I mean 200 at point 84 so yeah so obviously mine's one of the highest ones there uh, so that's pretty much it there um, I'm not sure if expense is available on Windows um, so I really don't know if they have a similar program or anything like that. But nonetheless, <coughs> that's pretty much uh, my benchmarking scores.